system from Huntsville, Alabama. Mr. Tyler has invited me to do a demonstration of the three machines I have. This one on my left is a 24 inch baler. It produces a bale 24 inches long, approximately 12 inches in diameter. And it, this machine has cutters. It's hydraulically operated with a five and a half horse engine. And it will chop up a lot more debris and pack it a lot tighter. Um, up to about 75 pounds in a bale if you wish. The next machine is a 21 inch machine, electrically driven, produces a bale 21 inches long, about 10 inches in diameter. This is, it actually makes for better and lighter bales that anyone can pick up and move around. The machine is also light and maneuverable, it's not hard to move. And it runs off of 120 volts AC, so you just need an edge. Uh, an extension cord designed for small yards home use. The next machine is a 24 inch machine, almost just identical to the smaller one, except that it produces larger bales and you can put, you have to put it in. It's also electrically driven uh, and it produces bales, designed to produce bales about 40 to 50 pounds. So for your average, uh homeowner that has a small lawn, maybe a lady that likes to go out in the yard and work, you would recommend this machine? Right, I would recommend a 21 inch machine. And what benefits may this machine give over such like raking up leaves and putting them in trash well, bags? I can rake them up and put them in the bag. I can put three giant bags to one bag. So it's basically more efficient than having uh, 20 or 30 right. black once, trash bags piled right. up. And once it's bailed up, it's in biodegradable brown plain paper. Okay, so the, you don't even have to unwrap it if someone yeah, wanted to know. use it and just spread it out and chop yeah, it up yeah. into the garden. The paper right. itself is good to... Right. Okay. My bed bales has lasted five years. If it's wrapped about five or six times, it'll last five years. It gets wet, dries out, gets wet and dries out. And is there any particular place to store it? You can put it in your shed and yeah, under a carport? Them. Yeah, anywhere you want to store them. They're... Uh, uh, it's, like a, it's all biodegradable. Leaves will not spontaneously combust. If you have grass clippings, they will, but not leaves. Okay. The, the fire danger isn't there. Okay. You can also leave them outside and just cover them up. Okay, so this machine will handle leaves, pine needles, anything that you're basically anything going to find in your yard. Would you guess it weighs? That? Yeah, that's a good, uh, yeah, that's a good 75 pounds. Mm -hmm.